Hello, I'm Sebastian Lindholm from Trimble, and I'm going to show you some things we can do for concrete bridge geometry in Tecla Structures 2017 using the link we have between Rhino Grasshopper and Tecla Structures. So I'm going to start here with an empty Rhino model and empty Grasshopper definition. To create our bridge deck, we first need to define a profile, and we'll do it here in Rhino. I'm just going to draw a freehand profile here, a double T profile for this example. And then of course we need the road line and I'm gonna draw that one also straight here in Rhino. So something like this. And let's give our road line some elevation and some curvature in that set direction as well. So there we have it. And next what we want to do is sweep our profile along the curve here. And we're going to do that in Grasshopper. So I just bring in the curves I have here. And then the profile. And do a sweep. So okay. Not exactly what we wanted. We first need to align our profile to the start of this curve. And I made a component for that to save some time. So now you see that the profile is aligned here at the beginning of the line. And now when we do the sweep it looks much better. And then we just need to cap the start and the end of the of the sweep to, to create a solid in Rhino. And next we're going to bring this over to Tecla Structures. And for that we'll use a component for from the link between the two softwares. And this generates an item in Tecla Structures based on the geometry in, in Rhino. So here you see our bridge deck in Tecla Structures. And now of course if I go back to Rhino and do some modifications to the profile the changes will get instantly transferred to Tecla Structures. So you see how it updates the deck here when I update the profile in Rhino. And the same goes for the road line. So if I change the curvature here it will update my deck immediately. And I don't need to define my road line straight here in Rhino. I can bring it in from an Excel sheet for example. So here I have an Excel sheet uh, with just a set of coordinates defined and this will line up to road line. So I'll use a component here to read that Excel sheet. Like this. And what the component then outputs, if we go into it, is a curve here through the points that it found from the Excel sheet. So let's use that curve as our road line. And you see how it generates a deck based on the new new road line we have. And I could do the same for the profile. I can read it from an Excel sheet. But for this example, let's instead read it from Tecla Structures by creating a plate. Let's try to do some non-standard profile here. like this for example. And then we'll need to to get that profile into into Grasshopper. So there we go. And use the boundary of that one as our profile for the bridge deck. And here you can see how it uses that profile instead now. <laughs> 